Incident number two in the life of Elizabeth occurred in the summer of last year. Anyway, it was a swell day for a picnic, and Elizabeth managed to borrow two bicycles from somewhere, and away they went. That's a nice little scene. We may as well wait right here until Elizabeth and Alvin come gliding up. Well, it's not those muscles that bother me. I've got a... <laughs> It's pretty out here. Yeah. Well, Elizabeth, why did you get me a bicycle with a front wheel that won't turn? Want it really? It won't even budge. Look at this. Bearing must be frozen. Maybe if you leave it in the sun for a while, it'll thaw out. <laughs> Elizabeth, when it comes to things mechanical, you're a nudnik. Well, then explain to me how a bear could freeze in weather like this. <laughs> Not a bear, a bearing. It's in here. For the first five miles, this wheel was turning fine. Then somebody forgot to oil it, the bearing got hot, and it froze. It got hot and froze. That's right. <laughs> when we get home, remind me to boil up a few ice cubes. <laughs> anyway, if I can get this wheel off, I think I can fix it. Okay, while well, you do that, I'll fix lunch. Uh. Breaking my back. How would you like some nice tuna sandwiches? I brought some tuna, mayonnaise, pickles, and iced coffee. Honey, you didn't have to bring any pliers, did you? Uh, will a bobby pin help? <laughs> don't look at me like that. I don't carry pliers in my hair, you know. You know, this place is absolutely ideal for a picnic. No ants, no flies, no bees, and no rain. Yeah, you just wait. We'll find something that'll make us miserable before the day's over. Oh, and I don't be like that. Honey, I didn't bring much food. I just brought tuna and mayonnaise and pickles and iced coffee. Yeah, well, that's fine. If I just get this wheel off now, everything will be complete. Get over it. No ants, no flies, no bees, and no rain. I'll take that bobby pin after all. Oh, now you come running. Hey, by golly, you're right. No ants, no flies, no bees, and no rain. And no bobby pin. Why not? I don't know. I guess they must have jarred loose when I hit that tree back there. Oh, this is a fine kettle of fish. I don't have the kettle, but I do have the fish. I brought tuna, mayonnaise, pickles, and iced coffee. Yeah, that's fine, but I can't enjoy a meal knowing I have to carry this thing back to town. How about that? No ants, no flies, no bees, no friends. Yes, and I have no pliers, no wrench, and no cooperation from you. <laughs> Well, how did I know the bear was going to freeze? <laughs> Elizabeth, don't you have anything in this basket I can get that wheel off with? No, honey, all I brought was tuna, mayonnaise... Pickles and ice cream. <laughs> now, do you want to tell me again about the ants and the flies? Well, it's true. No ants, no flies, no bees, and ice cream. Uh, no rain. Well, let's eat. I'll fix the bite later. Good. Hey, that isn't poison oak over there, is it? Uh -uh. Darling, would you get the bread? I think I left it in the other basket. Hey, no bread over here. You sure? Funny. Huh. Guess I must have jarred loose when I hit that tree back there. Well, we can spread the tuna on the pickle. Oh, that sounds great. What's this? <laughs> oh, you asked if that was poison oak over there. That isn't, but this is. See, you can tell by the leaves. Oh, got the... <laughs> you lost your mind. Alvin, don't look so horrified. The doctor told us we weren't allergic to poison oak. 
That's the baby we've got to be careful of. Why? Poison ivy. Look, you can tell the difference between... <laughs> Let's eat. We'll have the botany lesson later. Okay. You open the thermos, okay. and I'll open the pickles. There you are. <laughs> Did life coffee, Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Squeeze it. Honey, let's face it. You brought the wrong thermos jug. I'm sorry. Hey, see if you can open the pickles. <laughs> It's no use again. Oh, we just have to put the tuna on our on the mayonnaise. That ought to be good. See if you can open the mayonnaise. <laughs> what do they do? Weld these things on? <laughs> it's no use. I can't do it. We just spread the tuna on our hands. <laughs> oh, but now. I can't find the can opener. Don't tell me. It bounced out when you hit the tree back there. <laughs> Maybe if we punched a hole in the top with a rock, we could drink it through straws. We haven't got any straws. <laughs> I think you've been sitting in the sun a little bit too long. Some picnic. Mm. It's fine. Alvin? Yes? Here come the ants. The little fellows will starve to death. I've got news for you. The flies and the bees are arriving. There's no rain. Give it time. <laughs> Alvin, I have an idea. Elizabeth, I no longer trust you. I think your brains bounced out when you hit that rock in the tree back there. I'm talking about the tree back there. The, the can opener, the bread, the bobby pin, they're all by that tree and it's only a couple of miles back. By golly, you're right. You're right. Come on. Let's go. I'll get your you right. get the yeah, you get the right and I'll get these things right All here. Right. I'll turn this one around. Well, we can do this if we just go back Hurry and get the little one. Sure we will. The we'll have fun yet, huh? Yeah, I told you to fall out.